let's say UConn does win tonight <laughs> and uh, does its usual thing, wins by bu- double digits again, right? And uh, I mean, that might have been one of uh, Alabama's which I, greatest. Which I think it's going to happen, by the way. I mean, I think UConn's going to win significantly, but go ahead. So, so I mean, I, I, you could say one of Alabama's greatest um, achievements uh, over the weekend was they, they actually threatened on occasion single digits, right? And so... Where does this put UConn if if they if they do this and pull it off tonight as you expect? Where, where, where do you where do you place this UConn team teams? Well, well, it, uh, among the most dominant, you know, it's when we compare eras, you know, you're comparing them with you know '96 Kentucky, '92 Duke, '73 UCLA. You know, you can really go back in history, but to me, it's more significant comparing them against their current competition, right? Comparing them against the teams that they're playing now. They won last year's NCAA tournament by 20 points a game, Mm. 20.0. Like that's literally literally average. This year, I think it's 23 or 24. Um, And the thing that's astounding, I think I said this last time, Rich, is they have a whole new team. I mean, the two teams that have repeated since UCLA did it were Duke 91-92, Florida 2006-2007. Both teams basically returned intact. UConn lost three starters from last year's national champs. They lost five of their top eight scorers. Um, and so for them to return, and they've had a better season. Last year's team was the number four seed, did not win the Big East regular season, did not win the Big East tournament. So this team will absolutely go down in history as one of the all-time greats if they win tonight. And this stretch of what they're doing and what Dan Hurley has done, I mean, he's basically put himself in the Hall of Fame. They win this game tonight, regardless almost of what, uh, he does the rest of, of his career. So it's hard enough to repeat when you have the same players. Um, for him to be able to do this with a totally different team and actually be better, I mean, I don't know that there's a historical parallel um, in the last 50 years to what's happening. And then we're sharpening UConn tonight, is what you're saying. Well, let's not abuse the Sharpie now. If it leaves a stain, so we'll mm-hmm. we'll we'll wait. But um, that is definitely my prediction that UConn wins and – to those who care, I think they will cover the point spread. I think they're going to win it emphatically. I just don't think that Purdue can handle the length, strength, and athleticism that, that UConn's going to throw out. Look at tonight. you Look at you talking to all my listeners and viewers. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 